Yes, that is uh, that is great. Still in full control mode. Strike it rich, out of pain. In okay, sure. In response to this, sure. Increasing vengeance. Oh wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. What are we? What are we targeting here? <laughs> Can I please see this stack of thing? Okay, frack, I can't. Uh, oh, we, we can target anything actually with this. That's fine. Okay, out of pain. Then in response to these comes the next <laughs> vengeance. Sure, submit one. Increasing vengeance on the increasing vengeance. Submit one. Auto pay. Now we got him. <laughs> that was easy. If this is the first time uh, playing magic, this might be a little bit complicated. Might seem a little bit complicated. It's not that complicated, but uh, it might seem that easy. <laughs> What's going on on screen now? Might seem like uh, it's a lot to take in. A lot to take in. You might... Sometimes you have a bad idea for a deck. But then it turns out... I, nothing turns out. It's just a bad idea for a deck. Which is what we ended up playing today. Because today I didn't have time to try anything else. So we're just going to stick with this very, very janky idea. Be aware that this was extra janky. More than usual. So... We're trying out With the Bloom Apprentice in combination with Raw Storm Condit because they essentially have the same ability. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or source a spell, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. And then of course we need to just have a copy spell, another copy spell, and then something for one. I know this big ask. In retrospect, I understand that having three cards, by the way, you can't see this, maybe you do this. Having three cards of a specific type in hand when you have a permanent in play is a little bit difficult. I maybe you should have understood this, but anyways. So what you do is, of course, you play the spell for one, you go into full control mode, you target the first spell with an increasing vengeance or a expansion, and you target the sec that copy with an expansion or an increasing vengeance, and of course you can keep copying the copy, keep copying the copy, until you win with damage. But as I said, this is a little bit difficult to do. I also put in Stormkill Artist, because he has Magecraft, he can create treasures, so I thought maybe we could go off and just get a lot of mana's worst case that was maybe not a good idea. And Gandalf the Grey, which has copy target instant resources, but I thought that was like kind of a mini roll. He can only do this once, but I don't know. <laughs> a jump to games. But Chris, where where are the new cards from the new set? You might be asking. Well, we had to find out again. <laughs> There's always things we need to find out on this channel, and is just copying spells together with something which is damage when you copy because if you copy a copying spell you can just you know get not an infinite amount yeah yes yeah, yes of course an infinite amount yes <laughs> i always say an infinite amount when i don't mean an infinite amount and then when i actually mean an infinite amount i don't say it so that could be a bit confusing to some people Hmm, we need something to copy. I think we don't need the assembly team actually. And we don't need the Storm Kloom artist. Right? Or actually we could go off with this? No, we can't. Because once we start a loop, we can't do that. So, okay, sure. Chip these, put down the Sanders Lounge. And that should enable us to play this and the land next turn. Hope it doesn't kill this thing. That would be great. It, do it doesn't. Kill that thing. That is great. So that means that we just need one more card. We draw this card. And then we get... Oh, we could just play Roll, of course. We just play Roll. Constellation. Ooh, we are one man off. <laughs> Next turn, everybody. Next turn. Everybody. As I've always said. <clears throat> Next turn. We get him. <laughs> Next turn, we get him. Do we want to doubly get him with this? No, we can't actually play this, so uh, we don't have mana, so... Yep, sure. No attacks with you. Stay back. And next turn, we are 100%, 100%, 200%, 300%, 400%. We get him. Get him, he's gone. Get him, get him good. We actually have Gandalf in this deck. There was a little bit of the inspiration actually behind the deck. Like a weird route <laughs> to get into, into, this, into this deck. Uh, anyways, now we just need to do Badoosh. Let's see here. Full control mode, right? We strike it rich. First order of business. No, wait, wait, wait. We minus. Wait, how do we do this? We minus two, of course. 
<laughs> With minus two. Yes. That is uh, that is great. Still in full control mode. Strike it rich. Out of pain. In okay, sure. In response to this, sure. Increasing vengeance. Oh and wait. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. What are we what are we targeting here? <laughs> Can I please see this stack of thing? Okay, frack, I can't. Uh, oh, we, we can target anything actually with this. That's fine. Okay. Auto pay. Then, in response to these, comes the next <laughs> vengeance. Sure, submit one. Increasing vengeance on the increasing vengeance. Submit one. Auto pay. Now we got it. <laughs> That's easy. If this is the first time uh, playing Magic, this might be a little bit complicated. Might seem a little bit complicated. It's not that complicated, but uh, it might seem that. <laughs> What's going on on screen now? Might seem like uh, it's a lot to take in. A lot to take in. You might feel a little bit overwhelmed. I was gonna tell you. I haven't even heard about layers yet. The layers. <laughs> And I still, of course I don't understand them, I don't even understand the basic attack mechanics, like how to attack with a creature, I still get that wrong. So, I'm not gonna talk about the layer mechanics, because honestly I don't understand them fully. <laughs> Just being honest there, we got them. The concept works, concept works, I mean we knew this, coming into this, but uh, will it work every time? Will it work sometimes? Will it be amazing? Will it crush everything? We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Eduardo, five, five, five. The number of the... Not the beast from the east. The number from of the... Uh, east from the west. His number was five, five, five. And east was six, six, six. That's how they encoded things when they programmed them. The beasts. The beastie boys. That's here. Put down this. Badoink. Badoink, badoink. Yeah, we can up up to some naughty business, sir. If you don't, that's not just. I mean, it's fine if you get it. It's fine. Because we actually have one more. So this is fine. Absolutely fine. Put down this. Badoosh. Badish, badoosh, bascabbly hoosh. Bishnoosh, bishnoosh, bishnoosh. The scabbly dabbly douche. Oh, Oracle of the Alp. I haven't seen this guy in a while. He's really good, though. Really, really good. So we'll do the roll. Storm Conduit! I'm gonna scribe. I'm gonna find... I'm gonna find the combo. Ugh, man. I feel this bad not having that on top, but... We kind of want to go off to the combo now and just, you know... Do the business on the business with the business. That's what I want to do. I don't know that that's gonna happen, but that's what <laughs> No! Geist wave! Okay. I just want to scry a bit of Maybe get an extra turn though. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be nice? Huh? Okay. Now well, we'll uh, continue scrying a little bit. Is there a combo piece here on top? Ooh. I mean, we have the Explorer, so maybe that sh would be on top? I don't know, maybe that's a mistake. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Because we kind of lean the mana a little bit. No, a little bit. Okay. Rascal Clockmaker. Midnight Clock. Black Lotus! That's good, that is good stuff. The Roscoe clock maker black freaking lotus. Liking this. Good stuffs. So you have the business though. The follow-up. The four mana player. Possibility. Maybe he has it. Maybe he doesn't. Children! Oh, that's dangerous. Um we'll see. We'll see if we get through this one. And take a little bit of punishment there. A little bit of damage. But we might... No, no, we know that this is on top. So we know we won't. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah, putting that on top actually guaranteed that we weren't not gonna win here. Unfortunately. On the other hand, we don't need this to win. Right? So if we search for an increasing... Oh, no, we don't need the roll, actually. 
And one of them. <laughs> we don't need. Yes. Yes, that is another way of putting it. So we get assembled. Servers. And then don't 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 time me out. Come on. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that is bullshit. Meh. Freaking bullshit is what I call it. I'm calling BS. It's complete BS. I'm playing the spell. Meh. Meh. I mean, don't you dare. Time. Me out. Don't stop me now. Because I'm assembling a team. Assembling a team. Does this have menace? No, death touch. So we can still block this. Take five. Survive. And if this guy survives, we can play the increasing vengeance into explore and the increasing vengeance and we get him. Right? So it looks like we could win this. Looks like we could win this. I'll try restarting. <laughs> just one second. The game just gave up and I had to restart my computer, but now we're facing someone else. Who cares? I think we won that game anyways if they were playing fair. Meh. Meh. We give this. Keep the gibble, gibble, gibble. Does this produce green? This produces green. That is great. And we can play the apprentice. Possibly could play the striker range also. Go for an early roll. That could be pretty good. But then we don't have a, anything to play with the expansion. Hmm. I think getting rolled down early is good, so we'll do this. Scotty Pippin. Pippin! That's, that's big deck, Pippin. That's a big one. Big in mind, Pippin. Freaking Pippin. <laughs> you always have a reason to be pissed off at Pippin. Just, just listen to his name. Freaking Pippin. Anyways. Roll. Storm Conduit! I'm wrong! Storm Conduit! Okay, it's yep. Find the business. Oh, be good. Business is... Hey, Sanders, like, no, that's not the business. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's not the business. I'll show you the business. Oh, oh come on, Stronghold. Okay. I thought it was uh, Mount Doom over there. Oh, no, 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 no! 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 What is it? Excel Target Planeswalker. Something. Something scary. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Something scary. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Something scary. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Monster manual. Okay. Yeah, all we need now. Wait, ca can't we somehow win there? Because we have this. And we've. If this would just copy this, if this could just hang in there and <laughs> just instantly use his ability. Wouldn't that be great? Just need to rewrite all the rules of magic, but if we did that, I think that would work out great for us. We'll pass here. And we'll find. I feel like we have like, you know, eight of essential the same card, but <laughs> you're not finding it, and I'm I find that to be a complete BS when I don't find a combo immediately. I want to find it immediately. Okay, guys. Sort of Pippin. The monster manual. Doing things manually. Can I crickets? Okay. At least I got this, so we can still win, but. But, 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 we need the business. We need the business. We need the business. Mm, we'll dig for the business. We'll dig. Yeah, you're gonna lose one life. We're gonna gain one life, sir. Oh! Put a quick cut from your hand onto the band. Oh, wait. That's good. Uh, okay, that, that's good. That's good ability. <laughs> and now we're taking damage. No! Oh, assemble the window. That is exactly what we need. We're gonna take a little bit of damage. Unavoidable. Some would say. And it wouldn't be wrong. Mm. Increasing vengeance. Then we can actually... Oh, now we don't have anything to copy, though. <laughs> Raggers. 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 I will put down two. Why not? 
Why not that do? Because then if he kills one and we draw into something which costs... We, all we need to do now is to draw into something which costs one. And we get it. And we get it get A monster manual though. Man, I remember what was the original card. The original card which had this ability was a creature for four, I think. But it's much better, of course, to have it an artifact, because then it's harder to kill that thing. He still hasn't hit many good creatures, though. Okay, put a plus counter on this. Okay, so it's all or nothing here next turn. If we hit the business, we hit the business. If we don't hit the business, we're out of business. Come on, hit something for one! Add something for two. Can we... Cheat magic. <laughs> so that we win there. I don't think that is possible, right? <sighs> Copy target instant source spell with mana value four or less. Can we just. <laughs> Can we just. Please? Please? I just need any spell that I can cast for a low mana value, which is an instant sorcery. That I think I think we're I think we're uh, dead, unfortunately. Maybe, 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 maybe. There's a reason nobody plays with it. Though. Maybe it's so much more difficult to go off with the wither bloom compared to going off with roll. The wither bloom is uh, it's beautiful. It's great. I love the uh, perspective here that they're using. <laughs> Perspective cam, also called the uh, taking a pee cam. That's what it looks like. From this vantage point, you can see anything. Let's see here. Assemble the team. We're gonna pick up the uh, increasing vengeance. Or do we pick up Raw? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> even though we have Wither Bloom. Ah, uh, okay, we'll try to win with the, with the Bloom, but I will search for another increasing Vanyan, so we have all these plus the Wither Bloom. We kind of assembled from them again, so... Oh my god, we're gonna be dead before that, I think. <laughs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately, I don't know that we're gonna survive this. Because we need to find another copy card, there it is, and then we need to play the Wither Bloom, and then we need to have five manas. And we're just dead to a voice of the blessed. Or, I mean, not one, two of them, actually, to be fair. Okay, may maybe. <laughs> maybe it's, I'll admit, maybe this strategy maybe isn't that good. Maybe it's a little bit poop, in fact. But, as we, we don't call it that on this giant channel. Oh my god, we're, we're, oh, we're one of them to start. Okay, we're kind of, uh, we're kind of dead. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What we could do. And what is good, whenever you put in cards which draw this card, and you have a bad hand, which is any hand containing with a blue, when that happens to you, what can you do is you can just use those draw discard spells to get rid of the bad cards. <laughs> you could take those after the deck, sure, sure, that's one way of doing it. But another way of doing it is having draw discard cards so that you get rid of your bad cards. It's a good strategy, promise. Put some bad cards in and then discard those cards. Get rid of them. That's, that's Schmurt. It's high IQ place. We'll do this. We'll assemble a team. We need the vengeance. I think this, yeah, this is probably just too slow. I felt, I feel like, weirdly enough, weirdly enough, or maybe it's not that weird, the Beseech withdrawal felt stronger. I felt like this would be better. But I guess now we've tried, so if you don't, if you don't try, you never, you, know, you never find out. But now we tried, so now we know. And it's probably just better if you're gonna play the roll combo, play it with Beseech. Look at my uh, old video if you haven't seen that back, because that was better, a better version of this. Because that could both search for roll, and roll could then multi Beseech. I don't know. Felt like it wasn't too difficult to get that over. Oh, hello. I'm gonna hello. I'm gonna go down low. Oh <laughs> uh, we're in trouble now, I think. A little bit in trouble! We are in trouble! We are in trouble! We are in trouble! We are in trouble! Ah, <laughs> uh, decline. Your we'll take all this damage. Not much we can do about this. Decline. Go we'll take the damage. Plead and we us. don't have anything, so we just, uh, you know, pass turn. 
Pass the turn. Take a little bit more damage. And then we see. We might... I mean, we might get something off here. We can al always start declining this if we're... We feel like that's a good idea. Go down to eight. Your punishment is my and uh, yeah, we are close to dead, but we're not dead yet. As the saying goes, we're gonna scry a little bit. And we need a land. That is a land. Now we need to maybe start discarding some spells here. Maybe the Gandalf can go. And then maybe if he doesn't kill that, we get him. But he probably kills that. Then we don't, then we don't have anything. Then we don't have anything. Okay. Okay, so devil. Oh, I have a job for you. Uh Gamble. <laughs> Chris, you're marking ev everything but the card you're supposed to throw away. Sure. Crocs up. Special knocks us. Storm kiln. Goes. Oh wait, did we get a win there though? Did we get a win? It almost looks like it. Because he's out, kind of out of manas. I think we got him. I think we actually got him. We got a full control mode. Gonna minus the minus resolve this ability. I have just the thing to Play this Good. in response. Submit one. Increasing vengeance on this. Auto pay. And in response to the increasing vengeance. <laughs> increasing vengeance. On the increasing vengeance. Wasn't that easy? Wasn't it? That was, that was a simple line of play for for infinite damage. Very, very easy and absolutely not confusing the new players. Wait, by the way, oh, it's fine. Take that off. <laughs> I think. Because <laughs> Charlotte will choose the correct target and not choose the faithless looting now for a target. I will get to choose the target. I think so. We got him. We got him. Simple combo. Absolutely overpowered combo. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe the Beseech one was better, but now we know. Now we know why nobody plays this. <laughs> Isn't that true for all your decks, Chris? Yeah, I mean, yeah sure, but <laughs> I, I felt like a little bit more maybe for this deck. Or it could have been my perspective. Maybe I came in with this, into this with the wrong attitude. I was feeling like this was gonna be like, oh, it's so easy. I need to copy a spell. That copies a spell and then you win. It felt like it was gonna be like. Super easy to get off, but it's actually a little bit tricky. You're tricky with the manas, you're tricky with the one thing needs to survive, you need to have five manas. You need to have essentially three spells of a particular type in hand. A little bit tricky. I think uh, the same thing that happened to me might have happened to him, though. I think. Or, he was very saddened by this. Oh my god, increasing manas into increasing manas. Deal one damage. Increasing vengeance into increasing vengeance. Deal one damage. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to sit through this entire thing. That's fine. Increasing vengeance into increasing vengeance. Deal one damage. Deal one damage. <laughs> Deal one damage. I think I think we'll end the episode here. You know what's gonna happen, right? It, if you have any doubts that we won now, I mean, on the other hand, I could click the wrong thing. But you just have to trust me, I think. Because there's it, it so much clicking. So much clicking. It takes so long. It takes so long. But thank you so much. I never say that. I just end the videos usually. So maybe I should just end the video. Fine. Sometimes you have a bad idea for a deck. But then it turns out. I, nothing turns out. It's just a bad idea for a deck. Which is what we ended up playing today, because today I didn't have time to try anything else. So we're just gonna stick with this very, very janky idea. Be aware that this was extra janky, more than usual. So, we're trying out With the Bloom Apprentice in combination with Royal Storm Condit, because they essentially have the same ability. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. And then, of course, we need to just have a copy spell, another copy spell, and that's something for one, I know this big ask. In retrospect, I understand that having three cards, by the way, you can't see this, maybe you should do this. Having three cards of a specific type in hand when you have a permanent in play is a little bit difficult. I, maybe you should have understood this, but anyways. So what you do is, of course, you play the spell for one, you go into full control mode, you target the first spell with an increasing vengeance or a expansion, and you target the sec that copy 
with an expansion or an increasing vengeance, and of course you can keep copying the copy, keep copying the copy until you win with damage. But as I said, this is a little bit difficult to do. I also put in Stormkill Artist, because he has Magecraft, he can create treasures, so I thought maybe we could go off and just get a lot of mana's worst case, that was maybe not a good idea. And Gandalf the Grey, which has copy target in some resources, but I thought that was like kind of a mineral, he can only do this once, but... I don't know. <laughs> Let's jump to games. Hello, Daniel! And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take all the views. No, the, those are my views. Oh, I can explain to you, senor. You see, you have subs at zero percent and non-subs a hundred percent. That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little. The thing down there.